G'day gents and welcome back to John Velvet Shed. Here's me car and here's me pipe. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to John Velvet Shed. Uh, on this episode, we're going to just continue doing the supporting mods for the turbo. Uh, part of that's got to do with the oil drain. So I'll be draining it back into a rocker cover, which is not something we usually do, but seeing there's a few people out there that have done it with uh, boxer engines or horizontally opposed engines. So that should be good. Um, apart from that, we're gonna talk a lot about my dump pipe and how it's too stiff. So I've been a silly billy banana and I've done myself a small mischief. When I made the turbo manifold, uh, I forgot how big the oil, uh, the oil pressure sensor was and it doesn't fit anymore. So I've had to just relocate it, which isn't a problem because I didn't have a long enough oil feed line anyways. Um, so the actual uh, oil pressure sensor is that big. So what I've done is I just went down to the local uh, hydraulic shop, which are very helpful to me. Um, and they basically made me up this line so that I can relocate this oil pressure sensor. And I'm just gonna mount it uh, on the inside of the chassis rail. Uh, so this will come directly off the oil pump and this will go up into the turbo so I can feed my oil into that from here. So it should actually work out quite well and be a little bit neater because we've got some uh, lovely braid, braided line there, stainless braided line with PTFE on the inside uh, so it doesn't corrode or break. But I did cause myself a small mischief and now I'm literally paying for it. But that's okay, because it looks quite cool. Don't tell my messes. Alrighty, this is an under the car look at the bracket I've just made for that three-way um, extension to the uh, oil pressure sensor. And so you can see just over here, oh, wait, let me get my hand there somehow. Just there is where I'm gonna tap the oil feed for the turbo. And then just in here, yeah. I'm going to um, put the actual oil sensor, oil pressure sensor in at least. Okay, I've got um, Mrs. Velvet holding the camera for me so I can show you what I've been doing today because I've been a busy little bugger. Um, first of all, I repainted the power steering reservoir and put it in. Um, I needed to do that because I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to plumb stuff up around the turbo. So I need to make sure that I'm not going to foul anything. Um, the other thing I did is I installed the um, fuel pressure reg, uh, sorry, fuel rather, the oil pressure sensor down there uh, and I have the oil line or the oil oil feed for the turbo sorted out there so that's all worked um, apart from that I've just been doing little bits and bobs there continuing the down pipe uh, or the dump pipe for the turbo just with the lobster back which is quite difficult because it's quite a tight radius so I've been struggling to weld there properly but um, I've now at least got like a direct path down towards where the existing uh, exhaust is so hopefully i can just put like a little flex joint in there um which will give me a bit of play when i get down uh towards the actual exhaust which i'll keep for the time being and then actually get a professional to do a proper one afterwards when i have more money in 40 years so most people when they drain oil back they'll drain it into the pan which i technically have quite a bit of space to do but the problem is that um, it's baffled and it's just hard to get a nice little spot to put a fixture in. So I had a little sit and a think and I decided that I would, instead of using the pan to drain back, I would just drain it back into the rocket cover. There aren't any sensors I have to be careful of because the engine is old as shit. Um, 
So I just need to find it all. all just needed to find all my old turbo stuff. Like this turbo housing too, because I might paint it, make it look nice. Oh. It's got to go in there. What I'm going to do, this is an old TD-04L uh, oil drain pipe. I'm going to cut it and weld it uh, onto a rocker cover, which uh, I, should, I should have a spare one over here. Oops. Dirty as sh**. But it's a spare rocker cover nonetheless. Shall my intent is to have it sitting something like that. On an angle, I suppose, coming back. And I'll repaint this because it looks... <laughs> but that's a-okay. All righty roo. So I cleaned this up a little bit more and I've just used the stepper drill and just my uh, raft just to increase the hole there a little bit. The plan is to try and weld this on like so-ish. Um, maybe on a little bit of an angle. Uh, and it should be a pretty short oil drain back into the um, this rocker cover. And because of the channels in the engine anyhow, the oil just drains back from this area here. So I don't see there being a big problem. It does have cork gaskets, which is a bit worrying, but uh, we'll just see how we go. I'm sure there's a way around everything really, isn't there? But anyhow. That was a, uh, a right mess. Now, that's super ugly, but it's gonna work because it doesn't need to be neat. It's just gotta sort of be sealed. Um, the reason why that sucked for me is because I was using the wrong TIG cup. These are the two cup sizes I've been using, uh, even for the dump pipe and that like tight as radius. You just really can't get in there. So my recommendation is don't persist like I did and sort of just get a more appropriate size but that's a bit of advice from a non-welder to well probably mum should be the only one watching this I've just got a bit of that trusty wrinkle black just hide those gross welds I might hurry it along with a slow dryer yeah nice I might just take two seconds to explain this hoopla about the dump pipe uh, needing a flex join. So essentially it's somewhat connected through the mount and through the turbo manifold to the engine itself, which is gonna vibrate. Now, if I was probably a better welder, I might not have to worry about it as much, but I don't really trust all my joins that much to withstand that kind of heat and that kind of vibration to a point of not cracking and breaking. And I want this to last at least a little bit until I get better and I choose to make another one. I don't really wanna have my hand forced. So essentially all I have to do is have some linkage between the existing uh, exhaust that allows for a bit of expansion through heat and also the vibration. Um, I wanted to put it right in the slap bang in the middle of the dump pipe, but it just makes it too hard trying to fit it into a tight area, which wouldn't have been that tight if I'd been better at making the up pipe. But, 
I did what I did and it works. So, well, I think it works. The engine works, hopefully. Hmm. All right, so the dump pipe is coming together a little bit here. I, uh, I got sick of doing pie cuts and sort of struggling to find the right angles and just got myself a 90 degree mandrel bend from the local ex exhaust shop, um, which is pretty good. I've just tacked some of these in place just to see what it looks like as, and to make sure I can get it in and out of the, <laughs> the car. So we'll see how we go. I'll go try and pop it in now. Okay, so as it is like this, it doesn't actually fit into the car. I can't sort of snake it in either way, but that's not the end of the world. I sort of thought that might happen. So I'll just take it off there, put a V-band on there and uh, get the flex joint in here and then attach the flex joint to the rest of the, uh, the exhaust. Um, so we're getting super close. I was hoping to get it done today, but who knows? Maybe tonight, we'll see. Okay, so um, I basically finished up the dump pipe. Um, so I've just had to take this end off because I couldn't actually fit it in before, like I was telling you in literally the second before on that video. But um, taking that off and I'll put a V-band clamp here with the uh, flex joint. So this itself won't have the flex joint, but it shouldn't matter if you're just sitting behind there. Um, problem is I couldn't manage to feed the other one in, so let's see if this one feeds in now. I'm gonna kind of fan dangle it a bit. Oh, there you go. A bit rough, but like a thumb and a bum. So I'm probably gonna wrap that up for the uh, downpipe. Uh, I will do the exhaust and the V-band uh, a little bit later and I'll probably show it in the video, but there's other stuff I need to get onto now. Before I do that, I actually want to make a short shifter and just tighten up the linkages of the uh, gear selector. Um, so I think that's probably going to be what our next video is. Hey, if you do like this, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, it'd be great to actually start making money off this because uh, tungsten electrodes are expensive and I burn through them. I just do. Um, but yeah, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. G'day gents, welcome back to John Velvet Shed. As you can see here, I've made a pipe. <laughs>